everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and today we're going to be continuing on with our Django series. So we learned last time how to take in information, kick it over, as you can see here, I've added a little touch, and add things to the database. But we didn't do much. That would be weird if you can't change or people aren't going to People aren't going to sit up here and type to go to the login page. They're going to expect to hit the submit button and then either go all the way through or then go to the login page. So right now we're just going to look and see how to take this and we're actually going to learn about redirect and HTTP response redirect and really kind of understand that and then do a little bit of a little bit more of HTML. I'll sprinkle it in every so often. So if you're new here, thanks for joining us. Uh, this is what we do. We do micro videos. So let's bring this up. So first of all, we are going to be working in here, right here, and on our login and our register HTML pages. So all right, it's literally this simple. And I will show you. So redirect there. And then also, this has several capitalizations. So we will just put this here and we'll talk about it. So it's HTTP response redirect. And you might say, why are there two choices? Well, I'll tell you. So the, the basic bare bones is HTTP response redirect. So that goes, it takes, it either can take an absolute or a relative path. We'll talk about that in a minute. So if you've tried this and you're wondering why you might be getting a page that's adding on to the other, well, you're doing a relative and it's just adding that page on top of the other page. We're going to do absolute so it knows the server, the path, and then that, that page itself. Now, redirect. What that does, we're going to use redirect. But you, but what this does, and I forgot return. But it's what we're doing here is, once we have this happen, we're saving the form, grabbing the information, and redirecting. So we're doing two things here, inside if the form is valid, saving it, saving it to the database, and then we're changing pages and it's literally the absolute path login. Now, the reason why I'm saying redirect, because you can actually take, let me peek at the documentation, you can actually take more, oh, don't want that yet, there we go, uh, it's over here. So it, it creates, re redirect actually then creates a HTTP response, and you can pass in more arguments, you can pass in get absolute URL, you can pass in a reverse, and then you can then uh, pass in the absolute or relative. And one's a model, one's a view. So this is more, you have more options, but this then creates an HTTP response redirect, and then you go, and then you're redirected to the, and I forgot this, there we go, all right. So cre this creates this, and then this goes to the page. So I could put this HTTP response since I don't have anything, but I want you to see this. So I spell that right? Yeah, it just looks wrong. Okay, so this is part, this is part one. So now, now let's, so we have right now, let's come here. So we created uh, Tommy B. Let's create uh, John, John Doe. Doe, there he is. And J D O E. Here we go. And what about this? And what about this? So now, as I'm sitting here, I'm going to hit submit. And I clicked over to my login, then I'm going to hit refresh here. So 
I got moved over to my login and my new user with with all the fields put in their username their email first name last name now I added a little touch here so now what happens if you get to this page and you need to you need to sign up boom goes back and forth and then what happens if you're here and you want to move back and forth so now I have a link down here and it's literally this simple let's move this over so we have a dev down here we have our button this is on our uh, register HTML then I hope you guys there let me look and see how that is there we go I think that's pretty good so I'm taking in this there's my button so then I have I have that's why this is blue because it's sitting right here between this tag and here's my path my absolute path oops there's that right there and there's my login in blue with my spacing if I wanted it bigger that's that and then let's look at my login so I changed the login just a little bit just to show you and we'll deal with that uh, next time and here this is so this is a little bit longer and don't have an account same thing absolute path same spacing padding and sign up so there we go very 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 clean very clear I don't think I've created a folder on github I need to go ahead and do that and I'll get this all up but um, I think we're gonna do a requested video tomorrow and then I need to be taking uh, a little bit of a break I've got some stuff that has built up and I need to jump on that but we're gonna be doing a requested video that has been uh, very patiently waited upon so we're gonna do that tomorrow so please drop any comments questions any video requests down below love all the uh, activity and interaction I want to tell you guys thank you for that as always and thank you for watching stay tuned and we'll see you guys next time bye guys hey guys thanks for joining us today I hope you really enjoyed today's video and if you haven't check out this video right here or this one right down here and most important make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell thanks again for joining us and we hope to see you next time bye guys